It's gonna be jamming when it's all about power chords. The most powerful of all the chords, actually. Scientific fact, proven by science. Real quick, if you guys could, hit that little notification button. I know YouTube has not been sending the videos out to everybody, so make sure you hit that notification button, and that'll keep you up to date whenever I go live on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and whenever I post new videos. Now, if you guys wanna skip me blabbing, bam, right there, that'll get you to the riffs and to the lesson. And other than that, I'm gonna keep on talking. So what's going on? We're talking about five power chord guitar riffs, you know, rock riffs, for beginner guitar players. And I think these are perfect. So I think that these riffs are perfect for, you know, beginners, maybe not the beginner who has never played guitar before in your life, but if you've been playing for a little bit, I think these riffs are gonna teach you a lot of very important techniques. The, the, the rhythms are so, you know, uh, involved with your left and right hand. So I think we're just gonna dive on into these. If you would like to check out the tabs for this lesson, they're down below in the description, they're on my website, and you can check out lesson packs on you know the pentatonic scale, all kinds of stuff I have over on that website. So let's go. Alright, so let's jump on into these. So what do we have going on first? Well, how about we go into Hold On Loosely. <laughs> It starts out with this little um, slide down. It's a B5 power chord. You're on seventh fret on the low E string and nine on the A. And you slide down to an A5, so you move down two frets. Then you're gonna go to an E5, which is just seventh fret on the A and ninth fret on the D. Now I use my pinky here, and this is exactly why I play power chords with my pinky for this next move. So we have, you play it, and then you palm mute the A string. You're gonna move your pointer finger down to six. You keep your pinky where it is, but I... So it's, it's all because of the hold on loosely chord. Yeah, so we have... So, basically, we start off with that E5. You palm mute it. One, two, three, four, five. You play the chord again, then you move your pointer finger down to that one, and you palm mute it. One, two, three, four, five. Then you go to a D5, so it's five on the A and seven on the D. Again with my pinky. Chord, and then move your pointer finger down. Now that one's a little bit shorter because you have to you know, accommodate that time that takes to do that. Okay, bam, bam. Then he goes into that one, and you can hear him do like the slide downs. I wouldn't worry about that too much right now, but um, they do add those parts to it. We're on to the zoo. So this is a killer Scorpions riff. I've always loved this one. And to get that muted rhythm, you know, you can almost practice it as two separate riffs, just doing this. So that's basically what's happening on the low E string. It's all palm muted and it's all open. Just that one, two, one, two, one, two. It's like that, that slow, almost gallopy sound. It's like a march. Power chords. 
So this is just 12th fret on the A string, which is actually an A5. Again, I use my pinky for power chords. You can use your ring finger, either one. Uh, so I go 12, and I move down two frets to 10 and 12. And as soon as you do that, you have to go right back to that little march. Do it again. And again. But this time, on the third time, you're gonna go... Which is simply going from 12, 14, 10 and 12, 9 and 11, 7 and 5, back to 9 and 11, back to that 7 and 5, or 7 and 9, so. Then back to that little march, so. So how about some Pat Benatar? So this one basically just starts out with a good old E5 power chord, seven on the A, nine on the D. And you go down to an A5, which this time we're gonna do an open A and second fret on the D. So, twice. Then you're gonna go up to fourth fret on the A string. Which is now we're doing a C sharp and down to B. I'm just moving down two frets. So it goes, basically, I'm just gonna call it the A string notes. So we'll go seven, open, then four, and then two. So they're all power chords. Now the next one's a little bit different. It goes, so it starts out the same way. Then it goes, which just when it goes four twice, then you go to two twice, open A, the A5, back to two. Next on the old chop block is some Boston. So what's going on here? Now, um, I, it sounds like the one part changes a little bit to me, but maybe my ears are just not that good. So uh, the riff is just this, basically. So it starts out with a good old G5 power chord, so third fret on the low E string, doing our power chord. And I think that he hits it three times, he goes. So I think that's what it sounds like to me. Then you go down to a C5, and you're gonna go three on the A and five on the D. So. So. Then you come up here to an E5, which is seven on the A, and then and mute. So. So you can kind of see like I'm doing the left hand mute. So all I'm doing is picking my hand and laying it on the strings. I'm doing a left hand mute. So I go. So it's chord, left hand mute, then chord again, then more left hand mutes. And then you go down to a D5. So we have. don't mind my hand adding those on some of the other parts. That's just like instinct for my hand to do that all the time. Thank you, Noodle Betancourt, for making me always try to play percussive. And why don't we end things with one of, uh, actually, my favorite 80s bands. We covered a bunch of these songs in the bands that I've been in just for fun. Uh, just because the riffs are always easy and they're so fun to play. And that would be Talk Dirty to Me by Poison. So the riff is just this. Big old pick slide. Now, um, I think he's tuned down half step, if I remember correctly. But basically, we're just gonna go third fret on the A string, and you play the power chord. So it's like one, two, three, four. Then you slide up just to a D5. And here's the really cool part of the. So it's just nine on the A string doing a power chord, so F sharp, and we're sliding up to the 10th fret, so going to a G5. So we go. And 
And that's it. And that's the riff. So. Alrighty guys, that is gonna do it for us here today. Hope you guys dug that lesson and hopefully you're over there in a power stance playing guitar. Just like that. So I will see you all on Wednesday. Have a good rest of the week. Hit the subscribe button. And while you're at it, if you're not too busy, subscribe. Oh wait, videos. <laughs> Hit the videos. And I think that'll be it. <laughs>